sweating in a pit stain. <laughs> you know, I don't think I slept last night. I probably turn my TV on and off about 10 times, you know, trying not to think about it. But I'm happy and you know, I'm proud to be in Montreal the and I look forward to going to camp and starting my career there. So you're hearing a lot of nice things being said about you from the coaches or from the combine that are talking about switching into defensive back. Uh, just, just ready to do whatever it takes? Uh, you know, I kind of had an idea that I would have to switch at some point. You know, if they want me to play linebacker, I can play, still play linebacker. And I can also play defensive back at a high level. You know, either way, I'm going to what a year for you. I mean, just from going from not on the radar to being selected the number three overall in the CFL draft. Just what's this ride been like? Um, you know, since I got to the University of Calgary, you know, you just don't kind of put that in the back of my head. You know, if you want to make it, it's up to you. Just have to put in the work and, you know, have to focus and determination to get there. And he's always been on my, he's always been on my toes. Even when I'm about to slip or fall off the track, you know, he puts me back on track and you know, he's kept me going. So I'd like to thank him. He was my defensive staff, but Coach Harris. You know, he's a guy that, you know, as the season went on, the play calling, the defense, I was able to, you know, know the play calling before you even called it. And just because of really, that's really shit I had with him. You know. Mike, when you were sitting there waiting when you already knew you got picked by Montreal and that season ticket commercial came up on the TV, you know that those people would be watching you. Did they kind of set in right away that, oh my God. I'm Actually, no, like, like, I was still, like, I still had a little bit of doubt. I was like, well, it's, you know, until they see my name on TV, you know, it's not official yet. You go to a great organization as well. What, what, can, what can they tell you? What, what do you know? Um, you know, it was a short conversation. I haven't talked to them much. I know, you know, they're going to take a look at me and my background and safety. And then I guess we'll see from there. Well, so right now, I don't know what's going to happen until I get in there and talk to the coaches. Was it a bit of a surprise, uh, you know, being from Montreal? As you say, not much contact Um, You know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting to go anywhere specifically. You know, like, I, like I said from day one, you know, open minded, you know, I just kept my, my options open, whatever happens, happens. Final question, you heard what Lyndon's doing to celebrate in yourself? Uh, you know, he's opening a, 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 a can of beer. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to dive into a ball of Hennessy. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Congratulations.